What's up, YouTube? It's Cutter back with another video, another weekly trade review for the fourth week of 2024. Today, we're going through the fourth week of 2024, uh, reviewing my performance for the week and seeing what I can do better next week. So, I took seven trades. I had two wins, five losses, had a minus 1.76 R multiple, and a minus 9.27% gain. Now, some of these trades were taking, were held going into the following week, or well, from the previous week going into the going into this week. So that's why it's seven instead of four trades. I did only take four trades this week, so I did follow that rule. Um, first on Monday, Cat Swiss. Why did I take this trade? H1 bullish three legged three legged flag, manual entry and a 50% candle cut. 50% drawdown cut. This was the position off an expanding triangle at this zone here. Uh, went ahead, entered off this doji candle, and then price continued pushing down. Came to 50%. Now I cut the position. Now I could have cut this earlier, uh, right after this bearish candle here, because I noticed on these setups that if the following candle isn't bullish or it doesn't fall in line with, doesn't immediately go into my direction, it usually tanks and goes to my SL but i haven't set that as a hard and fast rule yet so still getting used to actually executing on that idea then nzd sweet swiss daily cns setup on a descending channel cns limit activated on uh kiwi swiss price went well below limit before getting any bullish action but i'm still in the position plan to hold until tp or sl is hit or if there's major exhaustion after a rally. Price hit SL, still a valid CNS, so I'll look for a second entry. I did everything well. I could figure the max adverse discouragement for the CNS winners and find a way to cut the position sooner. So I don't have a position cut I position cut rule for my CNS plays, but definitely planning on adding it. I need to get a larger sample size of CNS trades in order to actually implement that. And this is that trade. We got a break of this channel here and then got a run and retest of this level, the last high free break and price just tanked below it and then didn't come back above the entry. It actually was resistance at the entry level, which that could have been a sign to exit. That would have been, that actually would have been a good sign to exit, especially with four candles rejecting it. We actually ended up having one, two, three, four, five, six candles rejecting that level. Next, on Tuesday, had JCP three-legged H1 H1 setup. JCP entry opportunity cut the trade at 50% drawdown. So a lot of cutting trades this week. Debated re-entering, but decided not to. Did everything well on this trade. Uh, got this huge impulsive move here. Got this one, two, three legs here, uh, equal lows here, and then went ahead and entered off this hammer. And uh, price immediately went bullish, so it was a good sign for me to continue holding. But price did retrace 50%, so that ended up uh, that ended up being a signal for me to cut the position. So that was Tuesday. Let's go to Wednesday. Wednesday we have Aussie Swiss, which was the major trade that I was holding. Uh, best trade of the week let's go ahead and open that over here held from the weekend daily multi multi like jcp setup price came down to buy an area and i went ahead and execute on the position it went through first trouble area so i continued to hold and then as this price as price developed let's go ahead and look at the screenshot as price developed I went ahead and moved my stop loss around this area. And then once price got above this daily level, I went ahead and adjusted my stop here and went ahead and looked for a second entry off of this hammer here. So I entered off that hammer off the hourly time frame. I was looking for price to close above this this high, but we failed the high. And that failure of the high could have been a signal for me to exit as well. All right, so there's there are early exit signals in the trades that I'm not taking advantage of. I didn't establish a first trouble area, which that would have been my first trouble area to exit the trade if price failed there. Uh, so I could have done better by actually establishing a 
the first shovel area. FTA to exit early. Next, we have your USD. Your USD was another JCP setup off three black crows entry three legged formation. On the daily time frame, we had a simple bullish flat bearish flag, and was just looking to sell that bearish flag down to the next weekly level since we got a rejection out the weekly level. So let's open this. This is the rejection out the weekly level I was looking at. We got this impulse, this correction. Uh, and then looking for this to continue to scale down here and looking to add at 1.0723. This is the hourly time frame. I went ahead and adjusted my stop as price broke below this daily level to this high here uh, that broke this support level. And then once price actually broke beneath this daily level and this low here, I went ahead and adjusted my stop one more time and it ended up being stopped out once price came back up on, I believe that was Thursday. Thursday or Wednesday. Yeah, on Wednesday. So then on Thursday, took your ED, daily three-legged JCP setup, three-leg uh, daily formation. Price is currently falling Failing FTA, I'll wait one more hour to see if price gets above this level before closing. If 50% drawdown occurs, I'll cut the position, cut the trade at 50% drawdown. Since stop loss was below hammer candle, I could have made an ex exception for the 50% cut rule. So also again, another exit signal that came, first trouble area failed to follow FTA rule. <laughs> so my two problems for this week were adjusting stops too soon, which I expect brought that down to skill, keep stop at least two levels beyond price. So that's what I'm going to be doing coming into the following weeks. And then I also felt to follow exit early signals, right? Which are mainly the FTA rule. Uh, solution for following that. I need to set alerts. I don't have alerts at my FTA levels. And label them. So that I know what to do in that situation, right? Did I come from go from last week? Only take high quality setups. Each one of these trades were high quality setups. They were all within my playbook, so they were all good. And next, we continue to only take high quality setups, and then also at implement these two, uh, solve these two problems here. The one that's holding me back the most, just stop too soon, failed the early exit signals. So I prioritize the early exit signals as 
the rule to actually follow here. Now, as far as what I'm paying attention to for next week, have your AUD. We got this buy that I've been talking about for a while. Looking for this skill all the way up to this weekly level, actually up to these highs. Or is it just the weekly level? It's all the way up to these highs up here. And then we have USD Swiss, which isn't too great. So we're going to go ahead and skip that one. That's not too great either. We have GP CAD, which is one of the prime sets I'm looking at. It's a CNS setup. Got a break below this outside of this channel, around a retest of this last low pre break. And I'll look to sell for 3.3 R. And then we have NGD Swiss, another decent channel, looking for this to break above and then give me a round of retest of the last high pre break and looking to target these highs. And those are the main two. Yeah, everything else is just as it develops, we'll see if it develops. But hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and hit the like button and I will catch you guys in the next one.